Welcome back everyone, Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper. Today I'm doing week two of the number 52 card challenge and the prompt this time was bubbles. So what you will see me playing with here is that little blue bottle. It's actually a product called Under the Sea Theme Pack and it's by Easy Shade, The Art of Shading. Now it's a product that I bought a while ago but never got around to playing with. Now my first experiment is to try it with the just using the dry powder which is what you're seeing me doing now and um, all I did was sprinkle some of the powder and then tried blending it with the foam applicator. I decided it was a bit messy so I pulled out my little tray and let's see what happens because it says you can use it dry or wet. So I'm just spreading it around trying to blend it build up the colour it just gives it a light shade and there I go sprinkling some more this time I'm a bit more generous with it and I try it with the brush just to see how I like and that seems to be a lot better it seems to spread the color out more those white foamy things must just be for blending and I get out another different color the bottle the, the bottle the kit actually comes with four different shades of blue this is what I'm liking about this challenge, it's forcing me to play with products that I've bought and just didn't know how to use so I don't mind having a go here. And I've added some water now to the brush. And I actually did find this product a lot of fun to, to play with. Um, I'll try and remember to put a link down the bottom. If anyone's interested in buying some that is <laughs> and I just tried different techniques with the brush and see what what the outcome would be and a quick dry with the heat gun and this is what it looks like so far, it's just quick here. And this uh, stamp that I'm using is from, it's a Bella Clear stamp. And I liked it because it looked like bubbles to me. And I first tried playing with the archival ink Paradise Teal, but that doesn't land up. Uh, what was it? Oh, it was too light. The colour was too light and I didn't think it showed. So you could, I didn't think you could see it very well, the bubbles. So then I go in with a mementos blue color um can't remember what it was called but it was very hard to pronounce and i like the effect of that better i think it looks like bubbles there and i was really happy with that color i've got to remember to use my mementos more I haven't played with them a lot lately <laughs> oh this is where i go looking for some stencils and i believe that i choose oh yes it is and that stencil is from the crafters workshop and i guess go in with some modeling paste and i try to play with my easy shades and i just try to mix some of the color in with the with the modeling paste but you actually need quite a lot of it to, to get a, a colour. There I ended adding some more and all I got was like a, um, you can't really see on the video, but it came out a baby blue colour, which was nice. But you just needed so much product to, to get that effect and I didn't even put in that much modelling paste. So it's not very, very highly pigmentated. Now I bought out my trusty Misty tool which I absolutely love and I decided to use the Stampendia stamps that I have and it's called Pearl Mermaid. I absolutely love this stamp uh, and I had a lot of fun painting it too. Actually it comes with a free stencil and I'm using the Archival Permanent Ink. Now this is why I love my Misty, it wasn't dark enough and I didn't want to use black so I just go over it and over it quite a few times. It doesn't move till I get the shade of brown that I want for her. See me doing this quite a few times. 
I decided that I was going to colour in my Little Mermaid with my watercolour paints that I've got and you won't actually see me do the whole thing as I thought this would be too boring for you and I'm not very good at painting with my watercolours even though I was quite happy with the outcome of my mermaid and I'm using a stamp set here by Courtier Creations it's called Beside the Beach and I just used the little title Swim in the Sea which is what you see me stamping there starting to put this tag together and just add in some glue and I'll start to stick my little mermaid down and I start off using a white watercolor pencil the Faber-Castell one which you'll see me do in a minute and then somewhere along the line I change my mind there I go in and I go to the blue gee that was quick so then I start outlining her and highlighting her with some um, with the blue watercolour pencil and adding some highlights and a lot of blending with a brush and a water brush and I just keep alternating with techniques till I get an effect that I want. black watercolour pencil I will start uh, just shading in around the the edges and trying to unify everything and blend everything together this is not a necessary step it's just something that I like to do I like to create a bit of a border reason I decided that I wanted my mermaid to pop out a bit more so I outline her with the black uh, with the black watercolor pencil again and just blend it in a bit more and shade it in now you'll soon see a close-up of my work there it is and I was quite happy with the outcome of that all for watching i hope you enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did and once again thanks for subscribing till i see you again